Hello! 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 Everyone! Well, Coach has been going around trying to dox Toss's location. Well, Roger Brown, I'll try to use simple words because I knew you're a simpleton who's not very educated or very intelligent, so I'm going to put this very simply. Tasha for years and has doxxed um, Coates many a times. She stalked him for years, followed him around the country even. And you're sitting there defending Tasha, criticizing Coates for the same thing that Tasha's done to him, but even worse. Okay, dumbass? Again and again and again. Well, Coates, let me give you a pro tip. When you've got your black screen and you're hiding, don't let the screen door at mommy's hit hard. So you're so clever, Roger. You figured out he was at his mom's house because she has a screen door. Because nowhere else has screen doors, huh? Only Coates' mom has screen doors. Wow, you're such a great detective. Because it gives your entire ruse away. I mean, I gotta say that I laughed pretty hard when I heard that screen door just go smack. Because when I heard that screen door go smack. Roger, you sure fucking piss. <laughs> You're trying to criticize people like you have any room, but <laughs> you're a lulz cow yourself, dumbass. Oh, who that screen door was smack? You get away your rules there, coach. You know, it's obviously a screen door, so you're obviously at mommy's house. So obviously at mom's house because you got a screen door. I got a screen door, and this ain't my mom's house. How do you explain that, Roger Brown? <laughs> God, you're fucking dumb. You are fucking dumb. And you're going around doxing people. And trying to get them thrown out of hotels when you're sitting at your mommy's house in Connecticut. Yep, that's obviously his mom's house because his screen door is slammed, you know, and stuff. Going around doxing. I don't know if he's trying to get her kicked out. He ain't calling no hotels or nothing. You have no evidence of this. There's a lot of people who don't like Tasha. Half... About 80% of the veterans that are in the Boyd don't like him. You happen to like her probably because you don't like veterans. That's probably obvious, but, you know, shut up, Roger Brown. <laughs> I got a, got a good mind to go up to Kentucky and just slap you across the face a few times. Slap you this way and then backhand you the other way. Because <laughs> I, I sized you up. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Ah, uh, people in glass houses should not throw stones, leprechaun. Talking about people in glass houses that shouldn't throw stones? What do you do? What is your whole existence on YouTube? Throwing stones at others, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the only reason people don't make funny as, as much is because you're too fucking easy. <laughs> Wearing your mom's old clothes. <laughs> Cross-dressing in your mom's clothes. That's kind of creepy, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Uh, with your, you know. Who in the hell are you? Why don't you throw stones at me there, glass house boy? Huh? Huh? Roger? Oh, that's right. You're afraid of me, aren't you, Roger? Now, everyone, please put your comments below and, you know, maybe coach it. Hoping that someone will send him a pizza. Now everyone, have a good night. Good night, loser. Now this Roger Brown, many of you probably don't know him. Uh, he is definitely a Lowell's clown, clown in the making or a Lowell's clown. He's kind of a Lowell's cow that kind of goes below the, the um, radar a little bit because he's not that interesting. All he does is criticize people all the time. That's all he pretty much does. And... Um, he tries to be funny, but he's never funny. Uh, ne no one ever gets a laugh out of his videos. He's a creepy guy that is obsessed with Tasha. Uh, Tasha is a transgender female that's having some drug, drug and alcohol issues down in Florida. That's pretty pathetic. That hates our military and thinks that all veterans are stupid. I actually said that and. This guy supports that person. So that says a lot for Roger Brown. I've known about Roger Brown for three or four years. Ran across his video every once in a while. I was like, who in the hell is this freak? He trying to emulate me a little bit when he was making fun of Elvis, but failed miserably. Um, 
But, you know, Roger Brown is is a clown. Uh, we know him as Roger Brownstein. I uh, like to dress in his mom's clothes, his deceased mother's clothes, and make videos. And he criticizes Coach 9500 because Coach 9500 chose a lifestyle to live in a van. And he bought an older van because he's a mechanic. He knows how to fix it himself. The guy falls trees. He's a tree faller, you know, which is hard work. Roger Brown is jealous of Coates. And because Coates is living the life he wants. And Roger Brown, I don't know what his problem is. But he needs to lay off Coates. Um, that's all there is to that. See, Tasha followed Coates around the country. Tasha um, has been obsessed with Coates because Coates did a video uh, years ago where he had a transgender person who was very passable and very pretty for a transgender person. Not not saying that transgender people are pretty, I, you know, but I'm not attracted to them. But I mean, you could get fooled by a few of them. A few of them are really good at it. And he happened to be, but he didn't do anything. He just talked with her and all these rumors were around that he was sleeping with this transgender person. Well, then some of the transgender person community wanted, why did Coates ever hit on them? And Tasha got obsessed with Coates because Tasha wanted to be validated by Coates. And Coates wasn't going to validate Tasha. Coates, don't want any, Coates is a heterosexual male. He, he don't want anything to do with a guy who has, or a girl who has man parts. But, of course, Roger does. But, you know, that's the whole deal. Ta Tasha has stalked Coates, has doxxed Coates. I remember when Coates was at a Walmart up in Ohio, and Tasha went out and said, this is, a ho this is the Walmart that he's at. Because Tasha was actually physically stalking him. You know, driving around the country trying to find him. And, you know, so talk about doxing anybody, Roger. You need to talk about your little buddy, Tasha. She likes to dox people. So, you know, talk, as far as I'm concerned, Coach has a right to dox her. I don't think Coach should. I don't, I don't support doxing anybody. But, uh, you know... It's it just, she's, you, you wouldn't understand this, Roger. You're not, you're a simpleton, but, you know, someone doxes somebody, then the other person doxes them back. That doesn't make, you know, that's an eye for an eye, basically. Although not, not everybody, and I don't really believe an eye for an eye, but, you know, Coates does. That's his prerogative. <laughs> Thank you.